excited that you decided to join us at IES Kids Online. We're talking this month about why it's important to live with responsibility. Responsibility is showing you can be trusted with what is expected of you. When you live in a responsible way, other people will know that they can trust you. They can see that you'll do what you've said you'll do. We need to make the wise choice. And it's always the wise choice to live responsibly. Remember, God is always there to help us. One part of our lives where we definitely need responsibility is when we're taking care of pets. You know that pets need a special care and attention. So if we want to have a pet, we're responsible for our pet's well-being. Today, we will learn about responsibility in our Bible story. For now, let us prepare our hearts to worship the Lord together. It's worship time. As you know, we're talking this month about responsibility and why we should live our lives in a responsible way. Today, we'll look at some verses from the book of Proverbs. This book is full of wise sayings that can help us make great choices in our everyday lives. Many of these wise sayings come from a king named Solomon. Solomon became king when he was still very young. One night, God spoke to Solomon in a dream and told him that he could ask for anything he wanted. Can you guess what Solomon asked for? He asked for wisdom so he could lead God's people well. 
And you know what? God gave Solomon the wisdom he asked for. In Proverbs chapter 6, Solomon shared what he had seen while watching a very specific animal. This wasn't a kind of pet, but a kind of insect. Listen to this. You people who don't want to work, think about the ant. Consider its ways and be wise. It has no commander. It has no leader or ruler, but it stores up its food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. Okay, Solomon explained here that there's a lot that we can learn from an ant. Why? Because ants know how to work hard. Solomon said we should pay attention to the way ants work because we were created to work hard too. God made us to do good work and to do our very best at it. When God first created the world and the first people, Adam and Eve, God gave them an incredible job. God told them to take care of the world around them. And of course, Jesus told us exactly what our biggest responsibility should be if we want to follow him and live his way. We need to love God and to love others. But here's the thing. Sometimes it can be hard to do that. It doesn't just happen. It takes a lot of hard work, effort, and dedication. Listen again to what Solomon said about the ant. It has no commander. It has no leader or ruler, but it stores up its food in summer. It gathers its food at harvest time. Ants don't wait for someone to tell them what to do. Each ant knows its own job and they work together so well. Just like the ants, each one of you can take responsibility for your own chores and schoolwork. You don't have to wait for someone to tell you to get started or to follow through. You can do what's expected of you and do your best. And if you need help, you can always reach out and ask someone to lend a hand or show you what to do. That's part of responsibility too. Even in those times when we are not working, when the job is done and it's time to rest, that doesn't mean we need to just stare at a screen. We can work hard and play hard too. Yes, for example, we can spend time with our friends and family. We can play outside. We can explore new things or we can simply be still and relax. Resting allows our bodies and minds to rejuvenate so that we can be ready for the next day's work. God made us to work hard. That's what Solomon understood when he saw the way God made ants. If we want to be responsible, then we need to give our best effort to complete the job in front of us. We need to work hard. And remember, we don't have to do that alone. God can help us make the most of our skills and abilities so we can make a difference in the world. As we do, we can honor God. Let's pray and ask God to help us work hard. Dear God, thank you for the wisdom you gave Solomon as he thought about ants and the way they work. Thank you for designing us to work hard and use our talents to make a difference. Help us remember to work hard in everything we do and guide us in taking responsibility and finding the right balance between work and rest. Show us how we can honor you with the work we do. We love you and we pray these things in the name of Jesus, amen. It's pop quiz time. I'll ask you some questions and you can shout out loud the correct answer based on the Bible story you just heard. Are you ready? Question number one, who was the wise king in today's Bible story? 
Was it King Solomon? Was it King Salman? Or was it King Salaman? That's right! The wise king in today's story was named King Solomon. Question number two. Today, we learned from an animal. What animal was it? Was it an ant? Was it an antelope? Or was it an anteater? You got it! The animal we learned from today was an ant. Last question. What did we learn from the ant? Did we learn to be wise? Did we learn to smile more? Or did we learn to work hard? Yes, we learned to work hard. You all did it. Thanks for playing pop quiz with me. Hi, IS kids. This is Teacher Amos. It's great to be here again. Now, let's read the memory first of this month together. Are you ready? Suppose you can be trusted with something very little. Then, you can also be trusted with something very large. Luke 16, verse 10a. That's great. Let's read it together one more time. Suppose you can be trusted with something very little. Then you can also be trusted with something very large. Luke 16 verse 10a. Our verse reminds us that when you do well with a little, you can be trusted with a lot. If you take care of your stuff now, you might be trusted with more of different things later. Take responsibility and go further than your adult expect. If you are supposed to fold your own laundry, fold it. And the towels also. If you are in a charge of your pet's food, feed them and walk them. Do more than is expected without being asked. It's hard work, but God made us to work hard. We don't need to spend time avoiding work. It's better if we spend time showing that we can be trusted with the responsibility of caring for the people in our life and the world around us. So remember this, IH kids. In today's story, we listen to the teaching about the ant and the sluggard. I hope you realize now how important it is to be diligent and work hard like an ant. And speaking of an ant, let's draw one today. But before we start, we need to prepare these things. A piece of paper, black crayon or marker, and some coloring tools. I give you time to get them now. Did you get everything you need? Great! Later when you feel the video is too fast for you, do not worry. Just pause, do your drawing and press play again to continue the tutorial. Come, let's get started! I see 
What I admire most about ants is that they know not only how to work hard, but they also know how to rest. In order for us to give our best in all different areas of work, we need to be responsible by resting and taking care of ourselves too. That way, we have more energy to give when it's time to work. What are some ways we can truly rest well? Resting well doesn't mean playing video games and watching TV. Think about things that will really help our minds and bodies relax. Like being in nature, reading, or spending time with the people we love. Let's be sure to find time to rest so we can show up at our best when we do need to work hard. Have a great week, IES kids! You're with me all the time, helping me.